What's up everybody? Another episode of Ryan in Real Estate and excited as always to bring you the most information, most value that I can deliver to you. Here's the question that everybody's asking. Well, and it's really two questions. Everybody, everybody's asking this question and you've been asking it for years and years now. Well, two years to be exact. Is it the right time to buy? Is it the right time to sell? And here's the answer. Short answer, very short answer. Three letters, yes. For those of you that were sitting around and you were like, I'm just gonna wait for this market to crash, prices are gonna drop 20, 30%. Well, where are we at now? They're higher than they've ever been and it doesn't look like they're going any lower. Yeah, new construction's coming down a little bit, but if you look at most sales prices, they're sticking firm with where uh, that 20% increase we've had in the last 18 months. Uh, and now you're a buyer and you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Because what happened? Interest rates have now increased. Back when they were 2.9%, we're like, buy, please buy. It's the lowest we've ever seen them, but you didn't. And here we are, interest rates have increased. And what else has increased? Sales prices have increased. And as we see, I don't see interest rates dropping dramatically in the next year, could be, but let's just say interest rates stay where they're at. Home prices for sure are going to continue to increase. We've got enough data that's gonna show us that. So if home prices are increasing, and interest rates increasing, guess, guess what is decreasing? Your buying power, it just tanked. And it's going to continue to tank if those th two things keep happening. And if by all the experts, that's what we're expecting. So the question is, if you wanna buy, this is the house that you wanna live in. It's not just an investment. Yes, it's an investment. But if it's the house that you wanna buy, is it a time to buy? Absolutely, yes. You know what you've got right now. We don't know what we have two, three years in the future. And if you're happy just continuing to rent and pay somebody else's mortgage, go for it. But if you're like, I really wanna buy, you know what you have. All I can tell you is home prices are going to continue to increase as they have done for decades. Interest rates, don't know what's gonna happen there, but if that continues to stay where it's at or it rises a little bit more, your affordability is gonna go down. So the quick answer is yes. I guess that was the long answer as well. For those of you asking the next question, which is, is it a good time to sell? Are we starting to dip a little bit? Well, here's what I ask you. When you bought the house, how much did you pay for it? If you sold the house today, how much would it sell for? My guess, there would be a significant difference. And if that's enough to make you wanna make the decision to move, whether that's sell and liquidate and take the cash and run for the hills, or if it's just you wanna to move to your next house and do what you wanna do, it's still a great time to sell. There's still plenty of buyers out there who are willing to pay the price for your home. Now, will you get these crazy waving appraisals, 10% over ask? Maybe, maybe not. What I would tell you is you probably won't be able to sell your house as easy as it was before. Recently, you could probably just hired any guy off the street, brought him in, put a sign in your yard. You probably would have gotten your house sold for a good price. But now you probably got to market. You've got to get the right agent in there who knows how to market your property to get the most exposure to buyers so that they see your home and all of its glory and give you the best price. And there's still buyers out there, plenty of them. And here's what I tell you, the buyer demand is not going down. They're not building homes fast enough for the amount of people that want to buy homes. You can see that through every study that's out there. So that being said, you're on the leverage side right now of being low in demand or high in demand, low in inventory. So if it was me and you're looking to sell, I would totally make that change. If you want to talk it over, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, put them in the comments here. I would love to discuss it. It's always an open conversation. But to answer those two questions, yes and yes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell so you get these notifications. And don't sit on your couch too long and wait to make the wrong choice. So we will see you next time. Ryan Real Estate.